Hi everyone, I'm Cinder 9 Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Let's head down this hallway. You alright? I'm fine! Just leave me alone! Ashley, wait! <laughs> I'm coming for you. <sighs> Anybody that would like to face palm at what Ashley just did, please feel free to do so now. Seven, huh? So that brings the total up to eleven. <laughs> anyway, it says number of times killed. That just means game overs. So eleven. We're up to eleven. <laughs> My sh now, my aim was really good, <laughs> 81%. Unfortunately, some of those bullets went where we didn't want them to go. <laughs> uh, next chapter, 3-2. Uh, I don't like the next chapter. And the main reason for that is I remember it being really, really lengthy. So just a lot of chances to screw up. Hunnigan, what happened? The transmission got cut off. <laughs> Salazar, how'd you... We've jacked the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? Ah, oh, so she fell into one of our wonderful traps. We'll make sure we find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh yes, I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Thanks, that should keep me company, cause boredom kills me. I look forward to our next encounter, in another life. I'm gonna enjoy, I'm gonna enjoy putting a sniper rifle bullet through your head. Anyway, he said there were insects in the sewer, huh? Yes, there are insects in the sewer, but these aren't just like, you know, insects that are like, eh, whatever. No, no, he made mention of that for a reason. Give me this. These, uh, insects, quote-unquote, are really annoying. They leave me a tiny bit paranoid, to be honest. You'll see why. Just be, be fair. Yeah. Good job, Syndrome. You're an, you're a let's player. Keep talking. Uh, just be very careful. You can hear as you heard the splash, 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 splash. Uh, you can hear when they're when they're coming. Just be 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 smart about it. No, you don't. But I don't remember. Yeah, there we go. You see it? You can barely see it. You see kind of the drool. Yes, they're invisible. Not perfectly, but if you're in a rush, you're going to miss it. Now, I have a, always have a bad time hitting the head. There we go. It's right above the, the uh, drool type thing. Just be careful. <laughs> Got a 
This place freaks me out. Rifle ammo, hooray. If you're you're careful, you can snipe them. If not, they're gonna rush at you. Stop the creepy noises. Gosh, can you see why this place freaks me out? I hate invisible enemies. More than... More than most enemies. I hate invisible ones. Don't like what I can't see. Now you can hear it. You can kinda see it. But this one's a moving target, unfortunately. See, I have a hard time hitting these things. No, I was off. Now, if you don't hit him in the head, it takes more shots, unfortunately. Sadly, takes more shots. Uh, a point blank shotgun works in your favor, but that puts you at risk. Just use your rifle. <laughs> Camera angle freaked me out. I thought one was behind me. Velvet blue. TMP ammo. Red eye. Green eye. And handgun ammo. And up we go. I see you up there. I just don't have the right angle. I will shoot you with the shotgun if I can. You know what? Just forget it. I am going to shoot you with the shotgun. Hell no. Go away. I missed! Yeah. Nobody likes you. Need to move, don't I? Ow! Hate you! Hate you so much! Ah! No! Oh, come on! No! Yeah, I didn't miss that time. Jeez. Come on! I still have five bullets in this thing. Or she rested and won't budge. This is what I want. Yellow herb. Looks like he was alive until just recently. Judging by the wound, it was a quick death. We're going to combine this. Now we have two green-yellow herbs. I'm going to use one. More health is nice.
Come on. I know there's another one of you somewhere. Just what I want. Yes, ten shotgun shells. Luis's memo. There's some parasites that have the ability to control their hosts. It's basic knowledge among biologists, but not much is known as to how the parasites do it. Studying these parasites specifically might reveal some clues as to how the powers of Las Pelagas work, and perhaps provide more insight on the victims of the Las Pelagas, the Los Ganados. Here is a list of some parasites that have the ability to manipulate the behavioral patterns of their host. Dicro... Dicrocholerium? I don't know. Once the larva of, the, of this parasite migrates to the ant's esophagus, it alters the behavior of the ant. When the temperature drops in the evening, the infected ant climbs to the top of a plant and clamps onto a leaf using its mandible. It's said this, it stays there immobile until the next morning, placing the ant where it is most vulnerable to be eaten by a browsing herbivore such as a sheep. One could conclude that the parasite is manipulating the host's behavior to make its way into the body of its definitive host. The larva of this parasite makes its home inside the brain of a fish, such as the yellowtail, the parrot bass. Once infected, the fish make their way to the world's surface, where they will swim until eaten by seabirds. Once again, this particular behavior can only be explained by the parasite's desire to get into the bodies of the seabirds. This parasite's sporocysts develop into the snail's tentacles. The spirocysts are vivid in color and pulsate continually somewhat like a worm. Surprisingly, the infected snail makes its way to the top of a plant, where it's more visible to be more visible to the eyes of birds, therefore more likely to be eaten. Once eaten by a bird, the parasite will complete its metamorphosis into an adult. I hear you. Come on! Right here. I should have went into one of these cells sooner. Because you can't get to the ceiling here. Should have done that sooner. And here we have another green eye. Uh, these are, you could call them kind of like uh, special velvet blues and spindles. They're... Uh, they sell for more. Markings of the stone, uh, the markings on the side of the stone indicate it was once sent into something. Really? So you were sent into something? I'm gonna have to think. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Maybe if I get a treasure, something will uh, will spark in my memory. An incendiary grenade! Hooray! But you, two resting won't budge. Hmm. Ah, yes. How do I? Hmm. Ah, yes, this way. Doors too roasted, won't budge. We go this way. All right. Kick open. In here, we have the butterfly lamp. Ah, that's with the eyes. Yes. Butterfly lamp with green eye, red eye, and then there's another one that goes into it. That's right. Another one of those combinable treasures. Another green herb. Yes, please. And five shotgun shells. That's kind of everything I want right there. Only way it would have been better is if they gave me some rifle ammo, too. Drain the water. Oh, 
<sighs> and that's this part kind of complete. Now you just have to head back. Reed likes you! When you open that door, it's gonna shoot you. And you're gonna die miserably. If you can't open the door, I think they can. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is just bad. <laughs> I could blind them, but I only have two. I'd like to save those. I have a lot of incinerary grenades. Hmm. Fine. Reload. Oh, I forgot about the shotgun. <laughs> oh, I'm not too bright sometimes. I forgot about the shotgun ammo up here. I have more shotgun ammo than I thought. This is why I hate these guys. You have to look more than one, one way because they could be on the ceiling too. It's right there. Hi! No. Green eye. Hi! Oh, kick! Huh. Forgot you can kick. Ugh. Again, shotgun is very useful here. If you can catch them off guard, one sniper rifle bullet to the head will do the trick. But that's not, you can't always do that. And you can't shotgun one because it knocks them down. And two, it just does a lot of damage. Okay. Back to the rifle. Move. Now, I don't remember if there's another uh treasure that uses the eyes but if there is that well, was a terrible shot gotcha ah but if there is I would keep one just in case uh, the others sell pretty well but uh, these are the only I would keep a few actually I think these are the guys are the only ones that drop the eyes. Kick! If they're on the ground, you can do that. Now I remember when they they lunge at you. No! Stop! <laughs> hey, rifle ammo. Take that. Close the door. He busted down, right? There was something in here. I guess not. So. For those of you that have played Resident Evil 4, what do you remember about this place? Do you maybe do you remember being as freaked out as I am right now? Or was it not a really big deal to you? Still a big deal to me. I hate invisible enemies. And yeah, they're not completely invisible, but you just have the audio cues to go over. I think the enemy is fantastically done. They just freak me out. <laughs> Uh, were you sufficiently kind of on edge when it came to this part? Ah, I don't want to reload. I'll just put some handgun bullets into you. Ah, blue eye. Good. And that's another thing that freaks me out. These guys like to 
try to jump you from behind. <laughs> but, so that's why I'm constantly doing 180 degree turns. Uh, once you have all the eyes, put them in the butterfly lamp, and there you go, another high selling treasure. But, yeah, yeah, I don't like this area. I don't like this area at all. Not one bit. Uh, take that velvet blue. You can barely see it shining in the water there. Am I almost out of this place? Please say yes. And we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. Some money. Oh. Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, another really fun part. Just because I've been known to screw this up in the past. Yeah! Death! Uh, yes, the getting hit by the axe is death. Now, this really isn't as hard as I make it out to be, but, uh... Like I said, I can screw this up. You can see the line of where it cuts right there. All you have to do is wait for it to pass and run, like so. This one's more tricky because you have to jump, but it's the same It's the same premise. You jump right after it passes. Now you have two, but there's no place to stop in the middle. This is where I screwed up the first time. You just have to run straight through. Get close, and as soon as they pass, run. Because although they're going opposite, they're going opposite ways, and they're on the same timing. Therefore, you don't stop in the middle. You just run through. Uh, very easy, but it is insta death if you get hit. Don't get hit. I need to no. climb up. Break the barrels. Money. Spindle, all right, good. That doesn't look good, does it? Now, be careful with this part. What you'll want to do is toss a frag or incinerary grenade. Oh, they didn't all catch on fire. No! No! Again, per usual, I, uh, didn't shoot it quite right. Gotcha! That's good. I'm kind of glad that, uh, some of these stayed. You may be wondering why. How do they get up here? I don't remember. There's a way they get up here. Oh, hi! Suplex! You want to take as many of these guys out as possible. And you, you can stun him. Uh, the frag grenade will also work. Suplex. The reason you do that, here you get the Illuminatos Pendant, which is worth a lot of money, and each guy you kill, you get a spindle for. Yay! Uh, before we go down there and collect, huh, where'd all the spindles go? Thought you get a spindle for each one you, you kill. Hmm. Anyway, you'll want to uh, get here and jump. There'll be some pots over here you can break. Velvet blue. 800 cash. Hi, merchant. But before you talk to the merchant, head over here. Jump. And here's the treasure chest. Yeah, we're right above where we were at the end of chapter 3-1. Inside here, you find an elegant mask.
And we just so happen to have a purple gem. So yes, we already have an elegant mask. There's another elegant mask for you to put three more gems into. Hooray. All right. I'm going to uh, flip that. Now they're open. And we're going to take this ladder down. Yeah, now there's a ladder. Huh, can't check that like I thought. Did they all disappear? Maybe that's what it what it is. Maybe they disappeared. That's sad. Missed out on a lot of money. Well, I still got the Illuminatos pendant, because yes, he can run through the door, and then you miss out on that. But uh, you want to kill them, and I guess jump down here as quickly as possible, and collect them. Which... That's weird. I thought treasure didn't disappear like that. Oh, well. You can uh, get some spindles that way. Each one you kill, as you see, it had a little uh, shine on their on their chest. That's because it's a spindle. And, of course, the big guy has the Illuminatus pendant. Uh, frag grenade, incinerary grenade will stop them from reaching the door. And then they'll die, and you can collect the stuff. Hooray! I, no, I did not want to jump down. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so, a grenade there is a really good choice. Uh, please do so. I did not want to jump down. I want to jump over. And talk to the merchant. Welcome. Got some rare things. What are you buying? And I'm going to upgrade the capacity of the semi-auto rifle. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. 14 free bullets. Can't complain about that. What are you buying? What are you selling? Just to show... I'm selling the TMP ammo, actually, while I'm here. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> there we go. Thank you. I want to show this off. The green eyes are a thousand apiece, so they're worse than spindles. I thought they were they were like two thousand. The butterfly lamp is worth thirty-two thousand if you put one of the eyes in each one. Now, as you've seen, there was one red eye and one gr uh, blue eye, and then you get some additional greens to sell. But make sure you put the red, uh, green, and blue in it, and it's worth a lot of money, thirty-two thousand, and it'll be useful later. Uh, once we get this all fitted out, it'll be worth 20000 like the other elegant mask. Uh, the Illuminatus Pendant is worth 12000 A nice uh, bonus for you stopping that guy from running through the door. Alright. Good. Well. Ah, and stairs. There's a save point. There's still the shooting gallery. Save point. We'll go ahead and take it. And I'm going to end the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Next time we'll continue with this chapter. And this one's pretty long. We'll probably be on it another full episode if not more. I remember that. Maybe I'm not remembering correctly. But uh. I remember it being a pretty lengthy chapter. So we'll jump over here. And the next place we'll be going is through these red doors by the merchant. Hooray. <laughs> That's not ominous, just having those red doors there, which have kind of been different than the other doors. No, not at all. If only there was an upgrade for the capacity of the shotgun. Or you get free shotgun bullets. Would be nice. But we got 14 free uh, rifle bullets, which was really, really helpful. So uh, use that trick. It really, really do. It helps so much having those additional free bullets. Anyway, till the next episode, I'm Sindre9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.